Sentencing day for a teenager who shot and killed his own mom and three of his siblings in a horrific crime. The judge gave CJ, or Colin Jeffrey Haney, the maximum sentence. News specialist Dan Rascone was in the courtroom. He joins us now live. So Dan, how long will he be spending in prison? CJ Haney was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison for all five counts, four of those counts running consecutively. So that's 100 plus years there. Prosecutors saying he does not deserve to see the light of day again. I thought if I killed my dad, everyone would turn against me. So I made a selfish decision to kill them all. Prosecutors cutting right to the core of the horrific crime caused by this clean cut, well-dressed young man. CJ or Colin Jeffrey Haney was just 16 years old in January of 2020 when he shot and killed his own mother and three of his siblings one by one in a horrific murder case. This was not a single incident mass murder. This wasn't walking into a school or a McDonald's and just unloading your gun. This was planned, it was methodical, it was four separate incidences over a five hour period separated by one to two hours. Prosecutors saying that's why Haney doesn't deserve to see the light of day again. This is not a rehabilitation case, it's a punishment deterrence case. Someone who murders four people, including three children, children that he knew and cared about, should never be free. Haney's attorney pleaded for mercy, playing a video of Haney's graduation, saying he is a changed man and all counts should be served concurrently, which would be just 25 years to life. The juvenile offender has demonstrated maturity and rehabilitation sufficient to merit a chance at life beyond the prison. In a surprising move, Haney's own brother, who happened to not be home that day, said this all could have been avoided had his brother gotten help and blamed his own dad, Colin, for not acting sooner. He was robbed by not getting proper help, and while he might not blame Colin anymore for anything, I do. Because this could have been prevented. And this is something I've kept silent for too long about. Haney did speak, saying he hopes people can forgive his actions. I can ask for forgiveness for my crimes and mistakes. I always make sure that people understand that my mistakes in my past are something that will not, that I will not do again. And I want you to know I have learned from what I've done. As you can see there, Haney's showing no sign of emotion at all as he talked about killing his only family members. Now, because he was a juvenile when this happened, he'll remain in juvenile custody until he is 25 years old. Deanie, Ashley, back to you. Heartbreaking case all around. Dan, thank you.